Hey, Hardwired fans. I hope you guys are loving this season's episode so far. Here are some exclusive behind the scenes clips from the show. Enjoy. We saw the dress and I was like, there's no way that's going to fit. And they're like, oh no, it's okay. Cause you can go online and customize it to your size. I mean, that's, I think that's basically every girl's dream to have the perfect custom dress. Yeah, it's a, it's a couture gown that you can make at home. Um, and I think, I believe you can do it for about $400. So and it's kind of amazing. Crazy. So I mean, if somebody wants to do this at home, they just have the printer and then you download the software and it prints it? You download the files and print it, yeah. So like you would actually print something on a piece of paper. It's just the same thing. It's the same thing. So you went from bike racks to couture dresses and home goods. I mean, what's next? We have a jewelry line coming out in the fall. Um, and this will be um, a little bit less of a make at home mentality, but we'll use 3D printing in a way to really augment what the craftsmen are able to do. And I think we see the technology here rather than enabling the consumer, um, we're, we're kind of enabling traditional craftsmen to kind of go beyond what the limits of a, of a human hand would be able to do. And for consumers to be able to customize pieces that otherwise they never would have been able to do. Exactly, yeah, and, and, and not have to pay that extra customization costs, you know, which you would normally have to incur. Casey Holgren is an amazing set designer here in New York that makes sets for Broadway. And she used to do it with exacto knives and cardboard, and now she uses MakerBots to accelerate that process and make it more powerful. When she comes home, you can go to prettysmallthings.com, her website, and order her set designs, but as dollhouse furniture. In the dollhouse furniture world, it's the same thing as everywhere else. There aren't that many options, because you, if you're going to make something, you have to make tens of thousands of them to justify the cost. But Casey takes orders on demand. People make an order, and she makes what the furniture you want, and she has a huge range of, of what you can have made. It's just another example of people taking their passion, what they love, adding a MakerBot, and making something really wonderful happening and pioneering. MakerBot Academy is our mission to put a MakerBot in every school in the United States of America. We have to give the next generation the tools to build things that, and solve the problems that we don't even know exist yet. In the same way that young people had access when my generation had access to computers in schools, we need to give the next generation access to the next generation tools so that they can succeed.